The difference between an herb and a spice is primarily where it's obtained on the plant. Herbs usually come from the leafy parts of a plant and are usually dried. Spices come from seeds, fruits, or other parts of the plant. Kitchen Quiz is brought to you by Riley Max Market and Cooking School. Welcome back to Durango Cooks. Brought to you by Durango Coffee Company, Nature's Oasis, and Inside Durango TV. Welcome back to Durango Cooks. We're here with Executive Chef Dave Kuntz from the Mahogany Grill and Strader Hotel. And we're in the middle of making a wonderful appetizer. We have just done what? Made little cute pancakes that yep. are actually going to be pizzas. Yep, we're going to call them a mock pizza. We're going to finish these uh, off on a plate here. We'll just scoot them over here. We've made our black fig puree. We've already Great. gotten our um, little Ziploc or a piping bag. And then you just turn it on there, very simple. Oh, that just looks beautiful. So now what's our next step? Well, we have our reduction here. Um, it's basically a red wine, mm -hmm. brown sugar, a little toasted hazelnuts that we're gonna reduce down. So we have this bubbling nicely. Okay, so it's bubbling here. And at what point do you know it's the caramel state? You see it, it's almost the consistency of syrup. Okay, Okay. and that's when we wanna stop. And that's when you're stopped. You gotta watch it, okay. don't walk away. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish the tarts here. We have some nice fresh prosciutto that I've got at Nature's Oasis also. That looks And we're wonderful. just sort of, you know, you make it look it fluffy. You know, you just top it just like that. Mm. And we're gonna top it off with a little Linnea goat cheese. And we got Linnea's goat cheese from up in the valley there. I know yeah. people know Linnea and love her goat cheese. It really is a versatile cheese too. Well, this is the Chev and this one you can play around with. You can make it into different shapes. You can add seasonings to it like I do all the time. So we have our pizzas made. We're gonna take a little bit of our hazelnut. And we're just gonna oh, look at that. drizzle it over the top. And we're gonna to top it off with a little bit of uh, Turtle Lake Refuge buckwheat here. So I, there we look go. Look at that. Yeah. They look so pretty and so easy. Yep. I could do that. You could. Maybe. Easy. <laughs> no problem. So talk us through the salad. What are we doing? Well, the salad here is a late summer salad. Lots of heirlooms from uh, Shawback's uh, Farms. We have a little garlic from Cottonwood. Lots of color. Lots of color. Uh, we got a nice little uh, sweet onion from Bonga's Farms. Days it never ceases to amaze me when chefs are just like chop, 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 chop. Because oh. I, I, I cut my thumb so badly trying to do that. You gotta be About careful. A month ago. But yeah. I am celebrating my 30th year in cooking. You are. That I is am. amazing. Yep. 30 years. So you started when you were what? Like two? 13. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're being very creative here and, and using lots of colors. So we've got onions, some wonderful garlic that you said. This is a interesting story about the garlic. Yep, it's from Cottonwood Farms. Uh, she uh, entered it into the La Plata County Fair and became a champion. Oh, very nice. Yeah. We just had our fair. That's such a yep. great event. Again, another just awesome local thing that we have yeah. here in La Plata County. That's awesome. A little bit of chimney rock, cucumber here. Yep. So now we've got this beautiful heirloom tomato and those are so good. These are called the, the Goliath. Mm -hmm. This is a delicious that red. That is a big tomato. It is. And they're so full of tomato flavor, it's not even funny. So basically what I'm doing here is cutting dice. Okay. Okay. And then I've already gone ahead and taken some of the other ones. We got some lemon balm tomato here. Oh, that's so funny. I thought those were yellow peppers. <laughs> They're tomatoes. These are all tomatoes. These are all tomatoes. Look at that. That is beautiful. Prudence Pride, a little oh, more wow. tomato. They're just so good and delicious. Oh, those look fantastic. And then I am looking for my agave nectar. Okay. Which is a, um, a natural sweetener. Sugar. That you can use sugar or honey if you choose. Okay. I'm going with the well, agave. We have lots of local honey that we can definitely yep. use. Yep. So we'll use our, again, a spatula just to mix it up really good. Great spatula from Durango mm -hmm. Coffee Company. I always, exactly. I love going in there and perusing. It's, it's pretty fun. You find something new all the time. I go in there and I go. It can be dangerous. <laughs> what do I buy today? It's candy. I'm confused. <laughs> so there's oh, the wow. mix. We're going to place this on top of a uh, Bonga's Farm field mix to finish the plate. Okay. Well, we're going to do that coming up um, on the third segment of this show. So you're going to have to stick around a little bit later down the road here in a couple of weeks. And we're also going to do an entree that um, I'm going to cheat. James Ranch Beef Tenderloin with Ancho Citrus Bacon Roasted Poblano Rajas. A lot of words. That's a lot of words. Yes. We're going to be back with Dave Coons from Mahogany Grill in the Strader Hotel, who's going to show us how to do all that. And we're going to plate it all. It's a great end of summer meal. You won't want to miss it. Stick around. Awesome. 
Thanks for watching Durango Cooks. Durango Cooks is brought to you by Durango Coffee Company, Nature's Oasis, and Inside Durango TV.